to begin with, I think a little bit of context never hurt anyone. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to begin with showing you the 20 year old satanic prostitute, the finesse ninja, a 40 year old celebrity at the peak of his success. I think it'll be really insightful to see. Ninja, it is so fucking cold outside. I didn't pack enough clothing. Fuck. You're lucky you're in bed. You're so lucky. Oh. You're just gonna walk with me up my hill. Whoa. Sorry if my videos annoy you. I don't really care. I'm just gonna keep on sending them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fuck. It's so cold. It's like fucking 420. Blaze it, faggot. But 420 in the afternoon. And it is so cold. Oh my god. How creepy is this little crack den? It's like right on our street. Like who the fuck lives in there? Ugh. I don't know. And that's about it. I'm about to walk up this like stupid hill. Oh god. It's gonna be a mission. And and we burst out at the top. Isn't it gorgeous? There's the road. I'm about to just cross the road because YOLO. People are looking at me like you're talking to a phone. That's okay. Anyway. Gonna catch the bus. So that was mildly embarrassing. <laughs> I was so awkward. But context, right? Next, I want to show you my porno blog. So this is a website called Internet Archive Wayback Machine, and it's a perfect archive of what my porno blog looked like on the 25th of April 2013. This is the blog that he was so obsessed with and again it changed background. Now we're in February 2014 and this is it. This, this, is, the, this is the infamous porno blog that I told you about to discredit me and convince you that I was just a satanic prostitute. Hmm, funny. A lie. Hmm, what else? Uh, I think it's important to mention that in 2013, DMs didn't exist. You can look that up. DMs, I think, were brought in December 2013. Like, August, September, October, November, December. About four or five months after I went to Africa. So I'm gonna be 26 on the 26th of April, and I'll be the first to say I'm not an innocent little girl anymore. But the 20 year old that I just showed you, she was. And it was important to show you that. So now what I wanna do is talk about the laws concerning revenge porn. The revenge porn that Henri and Watkin have made it their fucking life's mission to spread around the internet the last couple of days, which is so fucking transparently obvious, just a vain attempt to distract their fans from putting two and two together and realizing what the fuck's actually happening right here. But basically, I'm not one to bring pigs into it, but it just so happens to suit me perfectly fucking fine. Um, on the 19th of February, 2019, new legislation has been passed in Australia regarding revenge porn. Uh, so basically, the website and like fucking links that Henri and Watkin have made and posted to their 2 million followers on YouTube, their 2.5 million followers on Facebook, and their 1.1 million followers on Instagram, those two cunts and any other dumb cunt in Australia who's also posted those links, like journalists for instance tone deaf i'm looking at you you've all broken the law and this new legislation basically states that you can be in prison for up to three years for doing what you've fucking done 
So, there's that. Mm, what else? Since I'm on a roll. Unlike your favorite cardboard gangster, fucking edgelords, ninja, and Yalangi, uh, I've never once fucking ducked about what I'm into and what I. I'm proud of that shit, dude. Like the moment shit got hot, and little old Johnny started talking about some shit that you're really into, you're like, oh fuck, we're Buddhist vegetarians. We couldn't do anything wrong. Fucking losers. So, hmm, <laughs> my not safe for work ritual Snapchat, I've been advertising this shit since the 27th of December 2018. I came up with a very fucking smart way to raise some money for my fucking EP The Line. I'm pretty fucking proud of that shit actually. Unlike boys who want to rap, to fuel their fucking rap habit, They'll get out on the street and they'll sell some fucking dope for that rap money. I decided, why not make some cool fucking performance art, the kind of shit that I already do on my Instagram, but also put a little bit of pussy in there, sell that and invest it into my fucking music. Not a bad idea. Not ashamed. Oh fuck. And while we're on the topic of my not safe work performance art ritual Snapchat, the Snapchat that I was so very fucking vocal about on my Instagram for all of 2019, encouraging people to fucking get on board. Every motherfucker that fucking signed up and fucking donated to my fucking music hustle, they all knew no fucking screenshots, no fucking recording, no fucking saving. You fucking do that shit and you have broken my fucking guidelines this is not your content this is mine and it is simply voyeurism the motherfucking rat that fucking filmed his broken ass fucking screen and took that shit like here big ninja notice me senpai oh look i have some dirt on Johnny. now you can like save your fucking ass and try and distract from the fucking reality that cunt i'm gonna make it my fucking life's mission to make sure that you see some fucking jail time fucking disgusting fucking disgusting and i think every motherfucker running around with the word satanism in their fucking mouth right now i bet none of you motherfuckers even know what satanism is dumb and the and same fucking go every cunt running around using the word prostitute i don't think you fucking understand what that shit means and i do have friends that are sex workers and they're good women and i'm gonna stand in solidarity with those women and i'm gonna say this if you think that a woman who does sex work deserves to be abused deserves to be shamed deserves to be called a fucking liar for trauma and abuse that they've gone through at any point in their fucking life fucking sick and you need to catch the fuck up.